What's going on everybody? This is Blackbuster Critic. You are watching the Blackbuster Show. Today's video is about something Microsoft said. And to see what I'm talking about, link is down there in the description. Go ahead and take a look at what Aaron Greenberg said on Twitter. I told you guys July 2nd that this was going to happen. And I said that the only people who are fooled by this, the only people who cannot see through Microsoft strategy, are the Microsoft fanboys and the Xbox drones. They're the only ones. July 2nd, I put up on Facebook that these low numbers that are available at GameStop for Xbox One pre-orders are supposed to be low. If you call your local GameStops and you get any of them to talk, they'll let you know what kind of low numbers they have, especially compared to the PS4. I called several of my own area out here in Dallas, and I had one store that told me 20, one store told me 16, but one thing I heard from several different GameStops is that the Xbox One pre-orders are significantly lower than the PS4 pre-orders. I had one employee tell me that within his entire district, he only had about 100 pre-orders. And that's at more than one GameStop. We all knew Microsoft's real reason for only allowing such a limited amount of pre-orders. So they can come back around like they did recently and say, pre-orders are through the roof! All right, people actually want the Xbox One. And the only people who are fooled by this stupid strategy, like I said before, are the Xbox drones and the Microsoft fanboys. Like the one I had at work, the one who was gloating about going to GameStop and to hearing about how they had no available Xbox One pre-orders, but it was offered a PS4 instead. And from that information given to him, he continued to laugh and say the Xbox One is gonna outsell the PS4 because at GameStop, all the Xbox Ones are sold out. And he started telling other people, you better get an Xbox One. You better hurry up and pre-order yours before it's too late. And even the GameStop employees will tell you that what Microsoft is doing is intentional. It's called pre-order panic. When something gets sold out, people get in their minds that, oh man, people, people actually want this. I better get one too. I better hurry up. I gotta pre-order. I gotta put my order right now. That's their whole strategy. And now Aaron Greenberg comes out and says, Pre-orders are through the roof. It's all sold out at GameStop. Guys, we all know that Microsoft's strategy is pretty transparent. But the main thing we need to focus on is why other people can't see it. Why is it those of us who have common sense in a brain can look at that and say, yeah, that's just a that's just a marketing strategy. And it's obvious. But others, these so-called gamers seem to just only care about Microsoft's well-being, Microsoft's profit. We saw the 360 fanboys from last generation talking about that. About the sales and how much money Microsoft is making off of stuff. Who cares? What we should be arguing about is what's good for the gamers. Xbox and Sixty Fanboys are out of touch with gaming. When your point is how much a company is making profit or how good the company is doing financially, rather than what games you have, what features you have, and all this other stuff, you've lost. You've lost. And I'm just going to let you guys know right now, the Xbox One will never outsell the PS4. The PS4 has already had the consensus of the world that it is a good console. The Xbox One has not. And for the, all the fake Xbox One protesters, I'll have another video for you pretty soon because I want to talk to you guys real quick as well. Anyway guys, just check out Angry Bird's tweet down below. It's just pathetic. Microsoft's marketing strategies. Transparent and obvious. And it definitely does weed out the gamers 
from the fanboys. I'll see you all later. You have a good day.